of kings. Small straight to the seven. Uh, what do you got, Ma? Well, it's not very good. <laughs> it was real good when I started out. See, nine, nine, nine. But the two you gave me spoiled it all. Two queens. <laughs> it's a full house. You <laughs> won again. Really? Yeah. Oh, my. Oh. I better look at the stew. Your father will be here any minute. Well, Gloria, we each owe a dime to the pot. Okay, that's 10, 20 cents more. Ma, we got it! That makes a total of $30 in a family pot. That means you can do it. Oh, oh Gloria! Do what? Don't you remember that Mom wrote a song a couple months ago? Song? You remember? Everyone is someone if you love them. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Hey, Ma, why didn't you read him that letter you got from the Wish Upon a oh, Star song company? Oh, yeah, here it is. Dear Mrs. Bunker, your poem, or as we say in the business, your lyric, <laughs> has been accepted by our panel of experts. As soon as we receive your check for $30 handling fee, your poem will be sent to music by one of the many top composers on our staff and on its way to superstardom. Isn't it terrific? Hey, Dad. Gloria, get the stew on. <laughs> oh, hello, Archie. How are you? No, no, I How know. was your day? It was a laugh right. <laughs> One jolly moment after the other. That's why you see me standing here like the blue bite of happiness. What's the matter, Arch? I've never seen you so upset. Oh, you never read the papers, huh? Do you know what's going on? Here it says 19 robberies reported in Queens District. Two of them right around here. Yesterday, Ryan's gas station a couple of blocks away. And today, I'm passing old lady Krimsky's bakery on the way to the subway this morning. What do you think I saw? What they didn't do to her. First of all, they robbed 180 bucks right out of her stock. <laughs> then just for spite, they ruined the joint. Cheesecake splashed all over the walls. Bagels rolling out to the side. I'm telling you, they're living in the jungle. That's what, they junk. But you know what I got? Malaria. <laughs> Funny, funny, funny. The whole world is falling apart and the meathead here is making jokes. Well, I'm taking some action. Beginning with this little surprise right here. You got a surprise, aren't you? We got a surprise, too. Say, will you? Why don't you tell us your surprise first? I think I will. <laughs> See this here? Looks like a regular little tape recorder, don't it? You know what that really is? A save your home alarm system. How'd you know that? It says it right there on the label, save your home alarm system. <laughs> well, labels don't tell you nothing. I'll tell you what this is. This is a save your home alarm system. <laughs> now, you hook this up all over. And if any burglar tries to get in any door or a window, I'll wait till you hear what happens. What are you laughing at? This is a serious thing here. Ah, what do you think of that? Sounds like a sweet old dog to me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Come on, Edith, will you? We'll miss the bus. She's there in a minute. Oh, what's she doing up there? Oh, calm down, Daddy. Yeah, Arch, right, your bus doesn't leave for an hour. You got plenty of time. What's the big rush? The big rush is it takes 40 minutes to get into Times Square. It takes five minutes to walk over the bus terminal. It takes another six minutes to buy the tickets. That leaves only four minutes for your mother-in-law to go to the ladies' room. <laughs> Which she's always got to do. That's why I never want to take in no place. Edith, come on, hurry up, or the ladies' room is out. <laughs> yeah, go on, get it. Where you get it? Gee, Arch, for a guy who's been complaining about this trip for the last three weeks, you sure seem in a hurry to get there. Oh, listen, it'll be a cold day in hell when I'm in a hurry to see Edith's cousin Moore. I just take missing buses, that's all. It started with me a long time ago. One day, Edith and me 
We gotta get over to Bayside Hospital, you know? We missed a Q5 bus, had to wait 20 minutes to get another one. I thought Edith was gonna give birth to Gloria right there on the sidewalk. What do you mean when Edith was having Gloria, you took her to the hospital on a bus? That's right, meathead. The subway don't run to Bayside. <laughs> Come on, Edith, will you? We'll be so busy. There's the bridal shower tonight, and then tomorrow is the bridal supper, and of course, Saturday is the big day. Wrong, Edith. Sunday's the big day. That's the day we take the bus home. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. If your cousin Maud says one wrong way to me, we're gonna be leaving before the bride takes the shower. <laughs> Cousin Maude will be in a good mood. She'll probably welcome you with open arms. I don't care what she's got open as long as she's got a big mouth closed. <laughs> Get everything here. All right, goodbye. Right. Right. See you later, Archie. Bye, Ma. Have a good time. Oh, we will. Maud was thrilled when I told her we was coming. Look, I don't want Archie Bunker here any more than you do. I invited Edith because I love her. And everywhere Edith goes, Archie goes. You know, like that vaudeville act. There's the front end of the horse, and then there's Archie. <laughs> But, Mother, inviting him was such a rotten thing to do. You never said a word about the bunkers, and the guest list was made up six weeks ago. Honey, if I had told you then, we would have fought for a month and a half. This way, it's only a one-hour brawl, and I win. But, Mother, Archie could wreck the whole wedding, and you know that very well. Now, what's going to happen when he finds out that David is Jewish? Oh, I can hear him now. Good night, nurse. She's marrying a Jew. <laughs> Let him. David will know how to handle it. He'll spot Archie for what he is right away. You know, being Jewish, he has that wonderful, wonderful sensitivity that I love so much. It's a trait of theirs. <laughs> a trait of theirs. Mother, will you listen to yourself? What you have just said is a reverse anti-Semitic cliché. You can say that to me? Why, just last month, I had a tree planted in Israel. <laughs> I happen to feel the Jews are brilliant, which is why I have a Jewish doctor and a Jewish lawyer and a Jewish accountant. You forgot to mention your brilliant Jewish plumber. <laughs> Walter, please, your daughter and I are fighting. I have just been accused of being anti-Semitic. I never said you were anti-Semitic. You bet I'm not. I happen to be a Hubert Humphrey Democrat. <laughs> what does that mean? It means she's not anti-anything. <laughs> Carol, when the Rosenblatts moved in next door, wasn't I the first one to go over and welcome them? And they have been constantly in and out of this house ever since. Yeah, but you hate the Rosenblatts. Because they are constantly in and out of this house. <laughs> I can't tell you how I'm dreading this shower. You know, I don't know why you had to involve me in a wedding in the first place. David and I have this terrific relationship going just as it is. I mean, why take a chance on messing it up by getting married? Honey, I know you're just upset because I didn't tell you about the bunkers. Oh, it's not just the bunkers. It's this whole archaic ritual of bridal showers and wedding gifts and, and thank you notes. Now listen, Carol, I hate bridal showers as much as you do. But after the hundreds of gifts that I've given through the years, my daughter is going to get hers. Look at this weather you're going to have. Orlando, Florida, high of 84 degrees. Ah, beautiful. Hey, maybe you and Ma ought to take bathing suits. Nah, we ain't going down to Florida to swim. We're going to go down there to see Disney World. And boy, that's going to be something to see. I'm reading here it cost them over 400 million bucks to build. You realize what that comes in dollars and cents? <laughs> Hey, I bet Ma was excited when you told her about it. Oh, hey, excited ain't the word. Boy, I... But you know, a funny thing happened. I come in, I said, Edith, the lodge is bringing for a special charter flight down there for the weekend, you know? So she starts jumping up and down laughing. And then, I think it was about the third jump, she come down crying. That's strange. That's screwy, even for your mother. <laughs> Hey, Edith, come out of the kitchen. I want to show you something in the magazine here. She's not here, Daddy. She ran down the market. Ah, oh, gee, I hope she don't get hung up in them sales down there. She's a sucker for specials. That's why we got 15 pounds of nuts in the closet. We ain't even got a monkey. Oh, I eat those nuts. <laughs> we 
Well, you ain't long out of the trees, anyway. <laughs> Archie, we're waiting here. We're starved. Don't rush me, Archie Bunker. You get your dinner on time. You always get your dinner on time. <laughs> and don't you forget that, neither. Come on, let me help you with those bags. Leave me alone. <laughs> What's the matter with Ma? I was going to ask you. Get out of the way, Gloria. Hey, uh, how you eat it there? Uh, is uh, something the matter with you? No. Well, I just want to know your own. Don't right? argue with me. Eat it, Diane. I just if was you're asking. asking for a fight, you're going to get one. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. Damn it. <laughs> Did she really say that? If I didn't hit that with my own ears, I wouldn't believe it. Listen to that. She never wallops the pots that way. She, I don't know what to expect from her next. You know, last night I'm sleeping in my bed there peaceful like a baby. And suddenly I get the feeling that somebody's watching me, you know? <laughs> so I open up my eyes, and there she is sitting there staring at me. I says, Edith, why are you watching me? She says, what else is there to watch Johnny Carson's off? <laughs> You ain't mad at nothing? Mad? What would I be mad about? Here's your beer. Uh, uh, Mine, you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Well, I just, uh, you know, I want you to be all set for the three-day excursion down to Florida. Oh, that's all. I'm all set. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, that's swell, swell. Hey, look, sit down in your chair, because I want to show you something in the magazine I found there. <laughs> Uh, there's a whole article in here, read it, on Disney World here. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Here's the first page. See, Mickey Mouse leading the Grand Parade. Huh? Ain't that cute? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it never occurred to me before. Mickey Mouse is black. Ah, oh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse ain't got no race. He stands for all men. That's why Walt made him a mouse. <laughs> Listen, don't be putting down Walt Disney. I'm going to tell you something. There's a guy named Billy Hartfell who works with me down a plant. Now, this is a guy that's been all over the world. He's traveled everywhere, seen everything and done everything. He's got the tattoos to prove it. <laughs> a guy like Billy Hartfell that tells me that he wants to go to Disney World to die. On this trip? No, we did not on this trip. Oh, God. He's going to give me, though, a, a couple of them, uh, you know, bright, flowery shirts he's got to wear outside the pants, you know, so I won't look like a tourist down there. <laughs> oh, my, it's hot in here. Open the window, will you, Mike? Well, it is open, Mike. It is? Why am I throwing away money on heat when you got the windows open? Close it. I want it open. <laughs> Edith, I want it closed. It's my home, too. All right. We both own a house. We both own a furniture. We both own a window, half and half. I want my half closed. Here we are. Dummy up. Uh, help yourself. Oh, my. Champagne. And on a Monday night, too. How about a toast to your new one-man show? May you sell everything. Oh, thanks, yeah. man. Come on, Zabo, sit down. Yeah, well, wait oh. a minute, Zabo, there. I want to ask you something. Uh, I see by that brochure there that uh, you like uh, painting people without their clothes on, in other words, in the nude. No, no, not everybody. For instance, you, I'd, I'd never paint you in the nude. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, you wouldn't be you without your clothes on. What do you, Mrs. Bunker? Well, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> Your daughter is something else. Because I see Gloria free, uninhibited. She's, she's, hey, 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 hey. Gloria, would you? Would I what? Now, I've got just three weeks. If we start tomorrow. Sorry, you mean you want to do Gloria? Yeah. For, for the show? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Mom and Daddy, can you believe it? Oh, 
wait a minute, you're gonna let this thing happen? Gloria spending three weeks with this guy naked? Why not? Eat it! Do you hear what's going on here? Why not, Archie? I, I, I'm thrilled. Zabo's my oldest friend. So Jim McNabb is our oldest friend. Suppose I put your mother-in-law up in front of Jim McNabb without her clothes on. <gasps> oh, Archie! <laughs> Relax, it ain't happened yet. I, I don't know what you're so uptight about. The human body, the, the pure form, it's art. It's part of life. So is throwing up, but I don't want to look at it. I don't believe you, Daddy. One of the most talented new painters around today flatters me by offering to paint me, and you make it sound so nasty. Oh, come on, Zabo, I'll make it a sad. Well, what else is it, then? She's right, Archie. Dirty is in the eye of the beholder. And stupid is in the head of the polar. <laughs> you don't want to play the second. Don't talk talking to me unless you take that back. All right, I take it back. Now sit down, you dumb polar, and let me talk. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and me are going to have a little talk man to man. That's nice, like father and son. Well, maybe there's something that needs doing upstairs. I'm sure there is. Now, you listen oh, Wait a second. You listen. If you're going to start again, in again with that, that paranoia about Zaba, you can just forget it, because he is a friend of mine, and I trust him. Oh, famous last words. That's what Abel was saying when he got it in the back from his own brother with a cane. Now, <laughs> <laughs> this gypsy out here. Hungarian, Hungarian. that's right. right. Whatever. This guy is way better looking than you, buddy, which, by the way, ain't so hard to beat. <laughs> and this could upset a girl. You don't even trust your own daughter. I didn't say that. Now sit down over oh. here and let me talk to you. Just sit down over here. Now, let me tell you something about men. Men have got certain things. Hormones. <laughs> Women have hormones, too. But theirs don't mean nothing. <laughs> Now, a man's hormones, they put ideas in his head, see, ideas. And he goes around thinking of these ideas until one day he has to do something about them, see, to clear his mind. <laughs> That's right. And when that day comes when he's got to clear his mind, he don't care with who he does it with. Now, I know guys that go after the wife of their best friend. Oh, come on. Archie, what are you talking Mike, about? Mike, you gotta listen to me. Goulash got no conscience. <laughs> oh, that was a great story. <laughs> oh, Mike, your wife can cook for me any time at all. Mm. Gotta run now, buddy. Okay, see you, I'll Zabo. see you later. See you, Mr. Bunker. Oh, are you going now? Yes, I am. Thanks a lot for your hospitality, and most of all, thank you for my new model. Look at her. He's a pixie with a face of a doll and a body of a, of a woman. <laughs> ah! mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Bye. Well, I feel like Mrs. O'Leary's cow yelling fire, 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 and nobody's paying no attention. Archie, Gloria and I don't have that kind of marriage. We, we trust each other. My generation trusts. My generation trusts too, Meathead. In God, not Hungarian. <laughs> All right. Laos. The hell kind of a middle name is Laos? <laughs> All one name. What is the difference? All the kids will call them Laos. They'll say, hey, Laos, where's the doggy you've been riding on? <laughs> That's what they'll be hollering after him. Arch, the kids will call him Stanley. They will call him Laos. Little kids are mean and rotten. I ought to know. I used to be one. <laughs> Why, they make fun of your name? Yes. Archibald is a nice name. Archibald stinks. And when the kids on the block found out I was called Archibald, he brought me up to the Bronx and they left me there. Oh. <laughs> oh, no arguments. No arguments. Oh. I want to tell you something here. Her and me ain't going to be diaper and no Laos. And Stanley's a name that stinks, too. Stanley's a name that stinks, too. Oh, yes. huh? Fine, fine, but I do not have to listen to you. It is up to us to name our own child. I don't have to stand here and listen to your juvenile opinions. That's all you're gonna get out of me. Hey, it's not my fault. I 
this before. You just threw your own pregnant daughter out of the house. Why, no. But the doctor says that my husband needs calm and quiet. You've done that for me, huh? Yeah. Well, thanks, Edith. But I gotta tell you, the way you pushed the two of them out the door, you put me in mind of an Irish bartender at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Why didn't you let him stay here at least until I could win the argument? Oh, because I'm your wife and I'm supposed to keep you healthy. Oh, yeah. Now, come on, sit hey, back hey. down here no, and, and relax hey, hey. and take your pill. Yeah, yeah. And, and don't worry no more about losing your job. Oh, well, come on, you can't blame me for worrying about losing my job. Geez, a lot of old guys are getting laid off nowadays. I don't want to wind up on a park bench feeding the pigeons. Or maybe stealing from the pigeons. <laughs> now put this over you. Put your feet up. Yeah, all right. Yeah. There. Now ain't that comfy. Take your pill. Yeah, take the pill. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna come out better on the test than Mr. Dirk Smiley. You're a good wife to me. Oh, you're a good husband. Well, you deserve every part of me. <laughs> <laughs> you still gotta beat out Dirk Smiley. Well, then again. He's got awful feet, you know. <laughs> Could a guy die from that? <laughs> you don't think about that now. Just relax yeah. and be quiet. You want to go upstairs? <laughs> In the daylight, even? <laughs> Didn't mean that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you wanna? <laughs> 